before, but in a nutshell, these teams are constantly reforming year after year because of graduations, transfers. Yeah. These are college teams, keep in mind. So in the spring, they're, or in the fall, they are usually getting on their feet, and then in the spring, the powerhouses really have their their teams figured out, and they just cruise through the competition. Yeah. Oh, actually, oh, Merrill actually, did not Merrill did a, not uh, get a draft penalty. Draft penalty. Looks like our Ooh. admin was feeling admin generous. Or, uh, uh, Golgi, I got uh, you in game as well. If you could go ahead and. Oh, oh actually, no, I just need to mute you. How did that happen? The mute co broadcaster. Yeah, co broadcaster off. was off. <laughs> I it certainly didn't change that. Yep, you are good now. You don't need to do anything, Golgi. It is all on you. <laughs> well, my guy, cast a game, though. Mm. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, we want to make sure we're heard in Dota. Oh, actually, that. I should probably make sure that my. Uh, my voice goes into Dota as well, which it looks like it is not currently. There we go. I don't know when that happened, but I didn't do it. Someone else broke it. Now, both teams, as we said, cruising through their initial bands. Gyrocopter is going to be picked up immediately by Stony Brook. Yeah, man. They're still banning out uh, Tangelier and Dark Willow. I'm still surprised by it. Dark Willow got uh, nerfed last patch. I think she's very... Um, average? I think she, I don't know if she's a bad hero. She's, I think, still a very pickable hero, but not like first pick material like you you pick her if you want a support that like that really needs to get in there and do some damage Dark Willow is amazingly good at that but she kind of requires a little bit of setup to be able to make her work completely uh, well and she needs a few levels as well which means she needs to get involved in uh, a lot of kills in the early game because otherwise she does if you don't get her uh, bedlam up her lane up uh, she doesn't really she isn't very effective and when it comes to Pangolier, a lot of pros have wow, been criticizing yeah. his laning phase. Um, Which is everything right now. Yeah, he can get pushed out uh, of the lane. I mean, he's really, really, really good if you know you're going into an easy lane. Um, then it's like a, like a last pick off lane pick type of thing, and then he's like so good because he gets your laning phase fine, and he's just an absolute powerhouse. But if he, he can't really deal with a tri lane, and he's not an amazing jungler without level and items, so that's what kind of holding him back. Um, cruising through the first phase of picks. Rubik Gyro is going to be for Stony Brook while UMD has the Sand King OD. Uh, Gyro, big staple. Rubik we see here and there, but I think of of the picks right now, UMD is pretty much cookie cutter uh, for for what you're seeing right now. Uh, yeah, no, but picking up the OD first, do you, were they that worried about it being banned in the second phase, do you think? Um, I, I mean, I think... I think uh, as drafters get better at drafting and teams get better, the pick order for carry and supports I don't think necessarily always line up to be like last pick mid always, right? Um, yeah. If you see in Pro Dota, all, all, a lot of times we'll, we'll see like a first pick OD all the time, first pick SFs, first pick uh, um, the Terrorblades, Juggernaut, Gyrocopter as we see here. Like carries become a lot more prevalent in the early phase, especially when it comes to reliable Nine carries like these um, that are like that's not necessarily very easy to counter. Like there aren't a lot of super obvious counters to OD. He's just going to get strong in the late game no matter how, what you do. Um, and Gyrocopter is just great at all phases of the game as well. And of course you can reserve those supports for um, having reactionary counters against your opponent's picks. Uh, we remember like there was a game we cast not too long ago where one of the teams picked Storm Spirit and the other team yes. since they picked everything and we had the carries remaining, they had no counters for Storm Spirit because carries usually aren't what you're looking for to counter Storm Spirit. Isn't that the game where they still had their, didn't they have their position five open and we were like, they should get Disruptor and they picked Bane. Oh, that, was was that, that was another one. That was another one. It was. It was. That was. That was different one. Yeah. But uh, there was a two. That 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 one wasn't that because that one we were talking about. They could pick like Night Stalker would be very nice, but uh, they wasn't available because they already had picked their Roamer or something like that. But um, yeah, that that game was I think on Tuesday. I don't know who they were against, but uh, yeah, they picked Bane instead of Disruptor when I when we both thought Disruptor looked fucking fantastic. No, Alright, um, yeah, Witch Doctor you know picked up for Maryland. Yeah, real, real common picks here. They're not going anything out of the ordinary. And honestly, that is just fine. It's, these heroes are picked as often as they are because of their power. And, uh, you know, that's, they're, they're just pulling themselves a real stable, real powerful lineup. Yeah. 
Uh, interesting for Sony Broke Derek, they, their draft kind of feels like it's, um, not exactly from this meta, it feels like it's like kind of a little bit of a past meta. Rubik we don't see as often anymore. Um, he's still good, uh, especially against a team with so much magic damage. Uh, we see Sand King and OD can do some scary amount of magic damage. Or if your team has good magic damage, which Jarcopter already does a lot. So that Rubik's aura can do a lot of work. And we see nowadays Rubik like max that second, just because it can do more damage than uh, Fade Bolt. Uh, just by maxing it if you depending on the team you're on. Uh, so that's interesting. But Earth Spirit is a hero that has been nerfed quite heavily recently. Um, not even recently, he's been kind of nerfed for the past like yeah, know, six History. months. History. Yeah. So uh, we haven't seen him very much. The problem with Earth Spirit nowadays is his early game is very, very, very weak. They, uh, they didn't touch his like stun duration or silence duration or slow duration in the late game, but in the early game, like his and stun is like not, not in a full second. So it takes a while for him to be very effective. And Earth Chip Spirit's uh, sh they, he's really shown in the early game before, so that's kind of uh, disappointing. All right, now the Nature's Prophet pick. That's someone that we've been seeing quite a lot more recently. Yeah. And every it seems like every time I've seen him, this man is a ganking machine. He's been used, like, to the absolute best of his ability, especially here in CSL, the games that we've seen him. Um, he's just so effective. I don't think I've seen one game where a Nature's Prophet was a non-factor. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, Nature's Prophet has been very, very good. And this game, uh, he looks pretty good. Um... It's going to be, of course, Sand King can uh, clear remain. his trees and stuff like that, but uh, Nature's Prophet has become Five so much more remain. than just uh, just pushing towers now. And as you mentioned, that ganking machine, it just pair Nature's Prophet with another really good ganking hero, like Earth Spear, who can appear out of nowhere, and suddenly like a two-man gank turns to a three-man gank, and, uh, and it, it gets really hard to deal with, especially because like you need to always have your team as five because if you don't you are going to get outnumbered against nature's prophet and sometimes if you do concert all five to defending a gank that means nature's prophet is also going to take your towers so it, it's a really hard hero to play against and i think you really test uh the team's map knowledge and uh, just team coordination yeah, and Sony Brick, he said, uh, paired well with a nice ganking hero. They've got the Earth Spirit, who's an okay taxi. Yeah. I wouldn't hate seeing a Life Stealer here on their team. Of course, UMD does have some BKB piercing stuff, but uh, Rage is going to be great against OD, as well as the Sand King, so making sure they can stay in there. Roll in, plus Infest Bomb, TP in a yeah. Nature's Prophet. That seems like Sony a Brooke, really powerful... They did ban Life Stealer, though, oh, of course. unfortunately. I think they banned it because they were afraid of the Sand King uh, Life Stealer. Because they banned it right after the Sand King was picked up. Yep, I did. Uh, I missed that. That was silly. Um, but someone like that, you still want that kind of yeah. ganker, and they're looking for their... Oh, actually, I take it back. They already have Jarocopter, so they're looking for their mid. Um, Guap is an obvious one. I can go mid. Yeah. It'll be PL. Okay, so it will be a mid gyro. Yeah, of course, PL can also go mid, but yeah, I think it'll be a gyro mid. Um, but never know, these teams have done some unexpected stuff in the past. We There was a gyro... Remember there was a gyro juggernaut? I think it was like Tuesday. There was a gyro juggernaut and they sent a juggernaut mid instead of the gyro. And then juggernaut went against the SF and then he got completely wrecked in the lane. Yeah, that so, didn't... Uh, yeah, we never know what's going to happen. Alright, but now it's UMD's turn. They're hitting back with their position 1. Huskar was banned out. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, Sven is a pretty fallback, um, fallback position one. I didn't see was Juggernaut banned. He was the one you might expect, but um, he'll be going up against Phantom Lancers, so he's pretty good for that as well. Just making sure they can yeah. clear the Illusion Army. Yeah, most likely picked it for Defalas or Plus Nature's Prophet. Uh, Juggernaut, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. No, I think Sven is actually pretty good here. Uh, Juggernaut, obviously his advantage, you, he can of course deal with pretty well with the Illusion Army and the Nature's Prophet Army as well, but not as well as Sven, but his big advantage is a magic immunity, but there isn't a lot of uh, magic spells they're really worried about this game. I think BKB should be able to do Sven just fine. Yeah, and then he's, of course, classic, he can't pull the Arteezy, he's got to be wary of the Sprouts uh, yes. once the BKB comes out. Time to pick up a Battle Fury Sven, right? Of course. <laughs> hey, I mean, if there is a game for it, this game isn't terrible for Battle Fury Sven. 
Yeah, because it is. Suspect. It's gonna take the Cleveland stack. It'll take the PL a while to get real big. Um, they're not super worried about anything happening in this game right away. Yeah, I think that's only if uh, he will get the if, if the Sprouts really do become a problem. But hopefully his uh, buddies can get a lot of four staff. I mean, there's already OD who will pick up a four staff quite early here, and I'm assuming uh, the Witch Doctor and Sand King is gonna obviously pick up of their own as well. Thanking for sure, which Doctor might go for the uh, classic, uh, just glimmer cape into Aegon's build. We've seen that build quite a bit. Yes, it's so powerful. There was yeah. one game I can't. I wish I could remember who it was, but uh, he picked it up and it completely turned that game around. The Death Ward started uh, just at, turning every single fight. The, the other yeah. team wasn't prepared for it. It's completely crazy. Uh, this game probably not as good for that because there's a PL who can soak up a lot of the death. This uh, is up leading the charge here. Uh, yeah, UMD. UMD tries to go for the first blood. Their smoke will break, but they're not going to be in a position to gra grab the first blood. Just going to pressure them off the runes for now. Yeah, the Rubik was very uh, very well positioned there. Saw them come from a mile away. Great positioning. Probably just going to be a two for two split here when it comes to the runes. The battle begins. Yep, there we go. UMD, Sony Brick, just gonna trade him over. Ooh. Inferno Ooh, could be Inferno. a little bit of trouble in the bottom. Inferno, he does get that rune. Actually, Inferno, yeah, he's gonna grab that Trub's miss. It's gonna be three of them going over to UMD. Three bounty runes start, not too bad. The other one hasn't even picked up yet. I don't think uh, I don't think Stony Brick is any danger. Having that one taken though. Yeah, well done by Sven. Um, of course, he loses half of his mana and a few, a few, a few tangos, but it's so worth it. That's a 200 gold exchange going on to his team. And, I mean, 400 gold swing if you think about the fact that uh, UMD no longer has that bounty room. Plus, he can just turn to uh, MZS and be like, hey, give me that clarity. I earned you it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. More than earned for that, for sure. Oh, and MZS even picks up a couple of trains there, thanks to those coconuts being so effective against non-hero units. Yeah. The classic uh, support core relationship for a core. What's a core is, is his, what's a support is also the core's. <laughs> it's like being and this will take a lot of damage here. Yeah. Get his back scratch. I only have one more tango left, so he's going to be out of regen for a little bit. He's got to be careful. Top lane, there's going to be rolling on MIS. Yeah, he's gonna be fine making his way out. Trub's taking a bit of damage here, and of course has picked up that, uh, that poison. <laughs> we'll be smacking away with it. Venom, I should say. Ooh, now they're going to Rubik. They're doing a lot of damage to him. Oh, am I asking yeah, that? Roll anymore. There's the roll. He's gonna catch him and kick, take him down for the first one. Rubik making his way away. They're not gonna be able to hit with the wild axes. Rubik goes into the river and he should be able to make his way to safety unless Miss is coming back in. He's TP'd already to the shrine. He's not going to be able to catch Rubik in the river, though. Actually hit he Rubik up. with one of the axes. Uh, that actually cancelled out his uh, salve right away, so at least there was something that got from that. Miss smoked up. He's going for Rubik. He's going to get the Burrow Strike onto him, but he still just doesn't have the damage. Oh, he's getting plenty of right clicks in. Is he going to pop? No, he doesn't have the Caustic Finale yet. Still only level only one. Level one. Ooh, poor, poor support. MZS on the bot is going to be stealing away Nature's Prophet Bounty Room. It really hurts for Nature's Prophet to be losing those against a uh, Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor is going to TP away. Playing him safe. A little bit of action in the mid. Burrow Strike 4, they're going to catch Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit might try and roll away. Oh, he doesn't have the mana right now because he's getting hit by the orbs. Not able to oh. deny himself to the Roshan. And so Slurred Trubs be able to pick that one up. I, I thought for sure he was going to deny himself, but I didn't know Trub was coming in down from the top. Great rotations. So we're going to be leaving uh, Sven alone in the bot lane against the uh, Nature's Prophet, but uh, if there's a hero that can probably stand up to the Nature's Prophet, it's probably Sven. That yeah, war would... cry and stout shield is going to do a lot of work against those treants. Yeah, definitely make sure he doesn't take too much damage, and then I don't think he'll prioritize it, but once he gets a little bit into cleave, he'll be able to just knock these things down. Yeah, he'll probably max cleave now. Usually, uh, a lot of times they go like one for one. Yep, there we go. Two, yeah, two, two, points, two points dropped straight into it. Yeah, especially in this lane, it's so effective. 
A little bit of skirmishing top, but no real commitment just yet. Yeah. I think they were thinking about diving their hero on their spirit, but uh, decided to think otherwise. They're, those are pretty tanky heroes, Zan King and Beastmaster. Not necessarily a hero you really want to dive. I always find this in matchup very interesting, Gyrocopter versus OD, because uh, you got the imprisonment against the missile, but it uh, can a lot of times force out the imprisonment early, and then yeah. that can lead to ganks if you have uh, heroes rotating it. Yeah. So you gotta be very smart with how you use that, and vision really, really helps OD this lane as well. And, yeah, and even then, if, uh, if OD astrals himself, then Gyro can just position up with the rocket barrage, like yeah, get ready exactly. for him to come out and just start putting out each... It, it's a real... It's one of the highest damage. This is a mid, by the way. Oh yeah, miss. There's no idea he's gonna drop the uh, drop the homing missile, and now, yes, Dark Raider feeling confident. He's gonna come in. Here comes the burrow strike, getting a lot of damage onto Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter's gonna have to drop his fairy fire, doing damage to Slurp. He will be able to go into the astral, but Dark Raider, he's doing quite a lot of damage. There we go. Oh no, he ate the astral damage. If he hadn't hung around for that, I don't know if it goes that way. Zing is gonna try and chase down Miss. Miss going to the Roche pad. He uses Burrow Strike already. Two shots from Roche should be able to do it. There's one. Here's the second. Not in time, Zing. He, this time, Miss will be the one to get himself the deny. Meanwhile, on the top, Inferno is gonna be able to turn around onto uh, onto the Rubik with the help of Trubs, who is pretty, pretty deep. Yeah, so they went for a dive onto Trubs, but I expect uh, the carry to rotate in with that Storm Ooh. Orbs and Maledict out on the Gyrocopter right now. It's probably just the level one Maledict, so shouldn't be doing too much, but it's got to keep you, keep it in your mind that this uh, OD's got a lot of support hanging around here. Yeah. That's also well played, Gank, by the way, in the mid. Uh, they were so patient with the uh, rotation when it comes to the Sang, uh, Sang King and they, they saved the Astral Imprisonment just the right amount of time, as you said, even getting the damage at the very end as well, which really did secure that kill. Uh, slight miscommunication, I think. If Zing teleported immediately, Trubs as could be in some trouble on the top. They're getting a Spirit Lance onto him. They've already used the roll, they've already used the lift, but they've got a lot of damage coming in. Masquerade, he's gonna have another. No, he doesn't have the Spirit Lance, but it doesn't matter. They've got the raw damage in the clicks. Yeah, tried to stand the fight there. I, mean, I don't think he had any chance to go either way, so at least forces here on to pop his self. Oh, there's going to be finding Zing in the river there. Miss is coming in. Maledict, Miss is here. He's got the Burrow Strike doing a ton of damage. There's no way Zing can survive this, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh Maledict? Oh, he has a Shrine. Maledict, just level one. He has a Shrine and the Fairy Fire. Zing. Very well played. Yeah. I always forget how little damage actually level one Maledict does. Yeah. Just see that he spell took a ton of damage from it too. Yeah. Rolling oh, the mid. here comes a rolling mid. Yeah, absolutely. They're going on to OD right now. OD making his way away. Here comes the homing missile. He's gonna astral himself. So They're gonna TP in. Zing. MZS is gonna come and try and save him, but they've got to lift up on a slurm right now. Slurm is stuck in the river. The call down gets used. Lots of damage. MZS and Inferno now turning it around. They're gonna get the kill onto Dark Raider. Yes, they are. But Inferno could pay with his life. They've already lost MZS. A beautiful burrow strike from Miss is gonna buy a little bit of time. And now Huron could be in some trouble. No, he rolled in deep, but he will be able to make it out of this one. Inferno, he's salving up. Gonna turn around. He's got the storm hammer on to Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet taking a ton of damage. Inferno, he's used the, the ultimate. And him and Ed Miss will make sure that they get a second kill out of this. Meanwhile, it looks like they lost. Who did they lose? Here on in the off lane. Trub's gonna be able to take him down. Yeah, they stuck around too long there. I think the OD gank was great, and I think Gyrocopter are committing for that. The Witch Doctor was good because I think he was going to die either way because of the Maledict and the Sven on him. Uh, but I think Nature's Prophet should have just gone out as soon as uh, that gank was done. Um, and they could have gotten even a lot worse as well because Hiron rolled in with 50 life <laughs> against the Sven. Um, and he thankfully got out of uh, Vision before the Stormhammer came out, or that could have been a 4 for 1. Or four yeah, two, right? Sven, Sven was throwing his hand out to cast it. Like, he yeah. had the mana, he had the range. It just got interrupted by vision. Top lane, Trubs getting gone again. Yep, down on the bottom, he's under the tower. Here comes the roll. The roll is going to miss, but he'll get body blocked up. There we go, Masquerade cleaning up another one for himself. Two kills there on Masquerade, doing an all right time and doing absolutely fantastic in CS as well. Uh, this PL is going to be a problem.
Yeah, although this Sven is also doing quite well, so uh, when these here, two heroes, when they stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Sven is usually going to come out on top thanks to him being kind of a counter against that PL. Yeah, PL has been in lane almost the entire time, right, not dying. Sven did rotate, yeah. but Sven is still above him on the on XP, mainly because I think Mass Raid probably had a, a lot more supports hanging out in the lane. Uh, Sven's been mostly by himself. There's going to be something happening here. Yeah, Zing is going to get found. They throw the Maledict. Here comes the cast as well, and Fudo's coming in. Oh, he is not getting away this time. Sorry, says Inferno. Ah, uh, don't be. <laughs> probably there was a dive over into Mist, but Mist is able to juke and jive with those Burr Strikes and Sandstorm to get out of that. But Hiron and uh, Include are still up here, looking for another gank. But Mist does have the Trunkle, was already healed up to full. Here they go. Inferno would love to... Oh, hold on. Yep. Burrow Strike... Er, coming in from Witch Doctor. They get a nice stun on Witch Doctor. Mist, Burrow Strike's out of there. Gonna get the Maledict and the Cask onto Hiron. Hiron could be in a little trouble. No, here comes Inferno. Uh, one shot will do it to the face. Trubs gets him with the Axes. Now the entire... Uh, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, the entire Maryland side is here on the top lane. Uh, it's going to cost them a mid-tower or damage on the mid-tower. They're going to have to respond to this pretty quickly. I usually love rotations, but I think this is a little, being a little too overzealous. <laughs> I mean, no, you know you know what the captain says, always have a TP on you. And I think everyone TP'd in uh, when someone asked for help. So, yeah, um, he'll love do a great job work. too. He's, he's straight to the bottom. Look at that. Yeah. I love the teamwork, but I don't think it was the right decision to send everyone up here. They're gonna try and trade tower for tower. Yeah, but they're losing their mid tower, which is a lot more valuable than the safe lane tower. Safe lane tower, arguably the uh, least valuable tower. This uh, tier one, at least. Even committing the god strength for it, I thought Inferno might hold that since he had teammates with him, and then you know um, respond with a second tower right after this, hold the god strength for it. But um, no. Or even so beta. also had bottom as well, because Masquerade is going to start doing damage this. I don't think they'll take it, but that's only a lot of damage. Yeah, they've got to be really careful though. This is, as we said, the Radiant Death Zone. Ping's yeah. coming oh. out into there already. They think someone's in even there. Even Nature's probably coming in as well. They might lose two tower for that five-man maneuver. Oh, they're going to lose two towers for it. I'm almost sure of it though. Yeah, Masquerade's popping the trees. Uh, Earth Spirit was pinging there in, in the Radiant Death Zone. Just fully expecting someone to be there. You'll be smart enough yeah, to not go. Yeah, so Masquerade uh, just used Doppelganger to cut all those trees out for his teammates, and there's no way he can defend that now. But thankfully, uh, looks like Maryland are going to respond with their mid tower. There's going to be a it, Stony Brook response, though. They're going to have this tower way before. Are they coming in? Here's the fortification. They're going to come around right behind. Or are they going across the river? They're smoked up. Okay, this they're going the across the, the river. Prophet. Yep. Nature's Prophet gonna show top. They're probably feeling a little safe. They gotta know that Stony Brick actually they don't even have PL here. Now PL's CPing in. Here they come, Heron's gonna come in. They got the call down, it's on the Slurm. Slurm will be able to avoid the damage. They get a roar out now. Here comes the cast bouncing around. Maledict out onto Heron. No one going down just yet. Dark Raider making his way. Miss is gonna be fine for now. Slurm gets chased down by Masquerade though. And Fierno, the next one to fall as well. Miss is getting chased away, but this is gonna be a huge loss for UMD. Yeah, yeah. They don't just, take just... the second tower. They lose a team fight. This is kind of we, as soon as we saw all five come in. This is kind of what we expected to happen, Golgi. Yeah, just a domino effect. You're not gonna out rotate an HS Prophet. You're just not gonna. Happen. And uh, they try. They try to match the pace against HS Prophet when it comes to pushing and splitting. And you know, the, the results are very obvious. It's just a, yeah. I, I feel like they just miscommunication, right? Someone asked for help in the top lane, and oh, Ooh, MGS like, yes, could be in some trouble. Getting hit by a, oh, here comes Zing as well. Throws the uh, cask, but it will not be enough to save him today. He was out on a, on a warding expedition, I'm sure. Didn't get anything up, or I think he actually was just throwing a bounty. He actually didn't have any uh, wards in his inventory. <laughs> Oof. Mini doctor. But yeah, the um, Stony Brick played that exceptionally well. They they, they left did. PL in the bottom so that UMD could see PL. They put um, they put Nature's Prophet in the top. So UMD's, that initial thing is like, I see two on the map, I feel safe, it's a Nature's Prophet, and PL had the TP. The whole team was there in no time at all. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they should they should check the TPs. I mean, you, you can always uh, assume the Nature's Prophet is everywhere on the map, but yeah, they should have obviously checked the PL's inventory for the uh, 
They TP, and I think they should just back off. They should have accepted their losses, that they won't lose two towers from that maneuver, and uh, yeah, not, not go for that uh, push, because as we saw, it was so only too greedy. Another thing an average player might not think about, Stony Brook did a really good job making sure that they walked all their heroes into the mid. That way, when PLTP'd in, he's got the short TP, not going to have one that's stacked and stacked and stacked. They're not coming in staggered. Yeah, yeah. Three, three people walked and two people TP'd in. Just beautifully done. So now, yeah, we can see the network differences here. As you said, this PL is a problem. 6.2k net worth here. 500 away from this van. And if you can get his hands on this Diffusal Blade early, then this game might uh, start landsliding for Stony Brook. Yeah, I don't know how they're gonna stand it, especially a hero like a Sven. He that a, a defusal is his worst nightmare. Yeah, he's gonna lose uh, his mana pool very quickly, which means he's gonna be very forced to pop all his spells early, which Sven can deal with, which is uh, fine. But yeah, no more Stormhammers coming up from him after the initial one after that. Well, of course, the the, the race I feel like whenever I'm playing PL against the Sven is uh, is if uh, PL can pick up his heart before like Sven can get enough damage. Yeah. Because if PPL can get a heart and Sven is still behind, and then Sven is a kind of useless hero. Yeah, even with God Strength, he's not gonna have a great easy time cleaving down the, the illusions. Yeah. Looks like Earth Spirit has something to say about this uh, Radiant, off <laughs> Radiant off lane, off lane shrine. Oh, Zygma get caught, by the way, in the mid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gotta scan out. They know that Rubik is down here. Inferno is gonna find him. He gets the lift. The Heimer didn't come out. Down in the bottom, they're fighting up under the tower. Dark Raider misses is fine for now. No, the second call down is gonna hit him. Euron's trying to make his way away. It looks like Dark Raider might be fine. Euron, they're gonna cast the Death Ward. It'll get a couple shots on him. One more from it. Slurm will do it. And now Dark Raider, the only one, he's gonna make it away. It'll be a four for four. Not terrible, but um, they got a little bit of damage on the tower, which they need to. Get a little more, I think, a little more responsive, and I, I mean, after they gave up those f those first two towers the way they did, or those last two towers the way they did, I think uh, UMD needs to shore up that objective defense, make sure that Stony Brook isn't hitting as much out of this as they have been. All right, here we go. Action on the top, and Firno is going to get hit by the uh, by the storm hammer. Now coming in the God Strength Trubs, making sure he chops down those trees the second that they're up. That'll be a good kill onto the NP. But here we go, Dark Raiders in the bottom again, pecking away at the tower. MCS is gonna rotate, throws the cask out. It's gonna bounce back and forth between the heroes. They're just getting out maneuver right Ooh, MCS now. MCS is out way too far though! Immediately getting lifted up and Dark Raider gonna just burst him down. Uh, gonna have to rotate a different yeah. hero in. Miss is here, and they're bringing the OD. Dark Raider could be in some trouble. Miss, if he can get the range right now, he should be able to get him. He's so far away. That was uh, Trubs coming in now from the shrine. Trubs could be in some trouble. He gets a roar out onto the Nature's Prophet. Here comes the call down. Call down doing a great job. Slurm goes down to Dark Raider. He doesn't get the kill. Oh, that is disastrous for Maryland. Now, even Miss could be in some trouble. He tries to get the Burrow Strike out, but a good kick from Huron's gonna be there. Oh, here on! Come on, buddy! Oh my god. He's Don't really confident. Don't be that guy. <laughs> hey man, mind games is something uh, that's, that can be played in like playoffs, man. You, you got, you, uh, sometimes hurting your opponent's morale is a thing. <laughs> he even got pinged out, so I think it was seen. I didn't <laughs> see what color it was. Actually, I think it was Nature's Prophet saying, hey, knock that crap off. <laughs> But yeah, Lock it this up, is buddy. what happens, right? When you're talking about Nature's Prophet, his strength, and this is one of his biggest strengths, is forcing your opponents into fights that are not very, uh, that kind of outnumbered then. You know, they they got the uh, fight top, but they uh, TP so many people up to the top, that means when the fight happened bottom, that they were going to be outnumbered as soon as Nature's Prophet respawned. And um, Dark Raider, I love his playstyle on the gyrocopter. He loves to just man up and fight, and at that time, it really, really worked in his favor. Yeah, he recognizes the matchups he's going against. If he's going against an OD and he tries to and he tries to like run away, he's just gonna get beat down. Sorry, I'm missing a kill. Inferno is going to just smash down Nature's Prophet in the top. Yeah, and now Z they're going to Zing's moving. Yeah, he's coming in the bottom. They got the roar out already. Actually, that was a stolen roar. Now, oh, they're gonna steal the death ward, but it doesn't matter. Rubik is gonna be taken down right away. They get the real roar out on the Phantom Lancer. Phantom Lancer taking so much damage, they got him! 
They're gonna get a call down, gonna take out the uh, Witch Doctor. But that'll be it, the end of the fight, and they are happy to lose the Witch Doctor for the, some key kills, especially on the Phantom Lancer. Man, these cooldown has been incredibly effective. I haven't actually seen cooldown kill so many people. I've seen them resulting kills, but then the final blow, I think it's like third uh -oh. time that happened in this game. Atta uh, there's gonna be a found OD in the bottom. OD, that was a ballsy, ballsy positioning. Yeah, this is this it is a problem a here for Maryland. They they can win these uh, engagements, but whenever it happens, they can't take objectives. And a lot of times, they just keep losing heroes in the back end of it. But it's not like they can exactly group and push because they only split, right? But at the very least, if you group and push, you will at least trade a tower, right? Right now, they're not even trading a tower. They're just losing objectives and losing heroes at the same time, not getting anything. Trying to go for a connection here. Miss is gonna find Heron. Oh, but they kick Inferno away. Inferno, he's got his gun strength up, but losing a lot of time on it. Now lifted, not able to hit it. Here they go, the double into the double burn of track. <laughs> UMD hitting back, taking out four on this Stony time Brook. They won't get objective here. Absolutely. 3k gold swing, they just recovered quite a lot from that. Yeah. I want I want to take two towers, honestly. I think they're, they're looking good here. Um, actually, maybe we could be doing for a second, uh, second tower. Yeah, it's pretty um, early, so these guys will be back pretty quickly. But if they God force a ton of rope... Yeah. yeah. Never mind, you can't fight. But yeah, they, they just got a group and uh, start taking objectives like this. Because taking, like, um, not t taking bad trades is better than like giving objectives away for free and they've been giving a lot of objectives for free in this game but right now they got two towers up to uh stony brooks four which isn't a it's it's a very much of a workable uh deficit yeah yeah you can see they were um stony brook actually clearing something close to a 6k gold lead there and just cut in half from that one engagement so see how close it's gonna it's just gonna take one more engagement like that to even up this game so to speak yeah and you see like just bad positioning against uh sven or sand king you see they can turn disastrous because of the cleave here we go they're gonna be taking ropes on tony bro yeah. it's going to be a little bit of a slow process they have no minus armor or no you know first sour rate like that that's for sure now Roshan, but thanks to the illusion change against Roshan, Master H will tank this easily. UMT has no idea this is going on. So oh, there goes the Rosh. Dark Raider is going to click around through the illusions, make sure he finally picks up that Aegis. Alright, here we go. PL is. Oh, he's headed to the top right away. If Inferno doesn't show himself, there we go. Here comes the epicenter, jumps in the storm hammer. Oh. They're dropping everything onto PL. PL is not the one who picked up that Aegis. Oh, UMD just so seemed to know it. that was happening. Did they check their magic eight ball? Oh no, that, now Rubik they're fighting might be Rubik as well. Rubik getting a lift. He's gonna try and drop him onto Miss. No, Miss is gonna get the burrow strike through. Stolen burrow strike gets him a little bit of time. Oh, but he's gonna run right into MZS. One more shot from Inferno is gonna do it. And now finding Huron as well. He gets blocked up from the roll out. UMD is back, baby. Inferno just picked up his blink dagger and they made it work. They caught three heroes with that. Miss, oh, he's going to find Nature's Prophet trying to TP out. Immediately getting oh the pearl strike God. and the roar into it, turning it into four. The unfortunate thing about this is Inferno. because... Because of Just Nature's Prophet, they're not, they're not taking an objective right now. They had to come back to their lane, back to their yeah. tower. But if you just got a triple kill, one happening in the top, one happening in the mid near the dire tier 2, and one happening radiant tier 2. He could get so one more just... bottom, we call that the world tour. Top, middle, <laughs> jungle, and bottom. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, Slurm, is he about to find Dark Raider? Uh, can he just kill gonna, No, he he's just... Kill him, no. Yeah, shot a shot into him. I saw Beastmaster behind him, but he lagged. Uh, lagged behind yeah, him a little bit. Yeah, Beastmaster doesn't have Primal Roar right now. I love this build, by the way. Beastmaster went for the uh, phase boot uh, blink dagger build, and I think mobility is what they needed. He also went for a drum. Super mobile Beastmaster. Usually we see Beastmasters like to go for a little bit greedy Necronomicon first build, but uh, going for this initiation rotation build uh, looks very good. And he did, he did even max in the Beast first next uh, Call of the Wild first, which is great. Even helps more against uh, that counter push. Yeah. 
in the they love to be able to jump in with a roar on a pl a quick pl will be able to get a doppel off because there is that wind back you know you can't roar without throwing your arms back your shoulders back yeah real, real mean like first it's just not possible so pl finish up his uh Sanjo Yasha. i love his build right now by the way he has a full early fight uh, yeah, just, just just you got you got to stack strength on this hero when you're going against a lineup like this, and he is doing it correctly. He is going for the BKB next. Uh, I guess he is afraid of OD, I suppose. Um, but he's not going to uh, he's not going to stop the primal roar, which is going to be kind of a problem. I guess Sankey's roar strike really hurts as well. Yeah, that's the main way they've been getting him is, is with the. Uh... Stormhammer and the Burrow Strike initiation. Yeah. But he's being just initiated on, which BKB won't help. That's more of like a Lincoln's job. Yeah. So, um, it's, it's an interesting pickup. Uh, but BKB is always like a questionable item. A lot of people uh, love that item, a lot of people don't. Uh, this situation, I think, is kind of average. I don't know. I might have liked the Lincoln's more, honestly. But I'm not playing with top eight. That is true. Not close. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are much better than I am, so. And of course, BKB takes a lot more skill to play with as well, and I'm not a skill player. Link is just sit on it, it just does the job for you. Ugh. BKB? Does it give me a ton of stats or damage? No? Ugh, oh, why'd I buy that? I have to press the button? Ugh. Extra buttons to press, exactly. <laughs> Alright, uh, so. We're going to have Stony Brook here just farming up, kind of hanging out together. I do like to see this. They've gotten picked off um, pretty quickly. UMD made a bit of a strategy change or just hit their hit their pacing where it's good for them. And they just tie, like picked and picked and picked. Got a ton of picks on Stony Brook. Stony Brook is making a reaction to that by making sure that they're near each other a lot um, and farming in safe places when they know where UMD is. So very good recognition and very good response from them. Yeah, I think it's just the mobility items just coming in for UMD to be able to deal with this uh, split push maneuver. We see Sven with Blink Dagger, Mask of Madness, Sanja and Yasha, all giving him some some kind of mobility. You got OD who has... As I say that, Golgi, they're splitting up a little bit now. We've got PL in the mid. Is he going to get seen here? He's going to get walked right into. Miss is going to find him. Here's the Burrow Strike now. The Maledict as well. The Roar. Oh, Phantom Lancer oh is going to get God. found in the Maledict tick was like a billion damage and he will go down that's what i'm talking about right like bkb isn't useful in these situations at all when he's just getting burrow struck before he has time to react they go really aggressive for this rubik but he gets out yeah it looks like they're just pushing time to push tier two exactly yeah they're posturing looking like they want to make sure no one's here to defend it they got their creeps coming in and there they go so the tier oh, two all right I completely forgot Aegis was a factor here. Dark Raider's Aegis got reclaimed. We didn't even see Dark Raider fight ever since yeah. he picked that up. So the, the everyone is in the mid. Oh yeah, here they go. They're going to be able to find themselves the Earth Spirit while everyone is fighting in the mid. Zing, of course, is pushing in the bottom. That's going to force the TP back from Miss. Miss is going to throw up the Sandstorm. Clear up as much as he can now. With no Earth Spirit, 20 seconds. Are they going to stay? No. UMD, I like this play. Uh, you could feel like, oh, I'm super ahead. You know, let's go for the push, but wisely they get back yeah you don't need you don't need to rush this game if you're umd you got a sven you got a you got an od you got and especially the sven against the uh, final answer right uh final answer nature's profit at that so it, as long as you dra drag this game out and you don't fall too far behind uh, right now they're actually quite even right now in this space and you just let od get some of his items and sven get his items i think they're golden sacrificial witch doctor goes down sacri or the obligatory five five death on the retreat <laughs> to please ice frog Beastmaster, uh, like... I believe it's tier one necro uh witch doctor he was probably grabbing no he died so he had the money i don't know what he was doing over there <laughs> was he he's got uh, the he he's got the money to buy oh he was probably he, maybe he didn't have it. He was maybe getting trying to get the money to finish off his spirit vessel. Right. right. I'm definitely that death hurt because he's uh, 50 gold away from it now. Uh, that means he was probably very close to it when he died. If not, had the money. But definitely you gotta be next to a secret shop to be able to finish an item. So now he finishes up five charges on that. So looking pretty good. Smoke up from MZS and Trubs. Did they get missed? They got missed as well. And Fierno's nearby. They're headed towards the mid. Oh, they're going to spot this double damage for Sven. No, Sven doesn't want it. He's going to jump in and clear up the Ancients, I thought. 
With that, I thought those are illusions. Oh, they're real illusions. No, illusions doing hand by was it? I so just missed. Going to be... probably took him out in one hit. I'm sure. God, strength yep, is used. It did. it did. Miss almost used his uh, uh, epicenter as well. He uh, blink burst struck, and uh, I thought he was gonna start channeling his epicenter, but thankfully those illusions were gone, so he didn't use that. Unfortunate. They had a pretty good setup there, but yeah, getting getting debated by the illusions. Classic illusion debate. Slurm. Oh, Slurm is getting so farmed. Off Slurm is spotting oh, masquerade. He's gonna have to four staff. Oh, nice. Miss there, getting the double four staff. Masquerade used his uh, drum charge there as well. He got one more charge left on that. Oh, MZS again getting caught in a really weird position. But why he's oh, turning it around? No, oh my no god! No way! Is he gonna get here on as well? Absolutely. Oh he is. my god! Maledix, Maledix hurts, ladies and gentlemen. In that perfect the cast. Money. That perfect cast. Money. Now oh, Inferno coming in, he's gonna find Rubik. Rubik steals. He gets the storm hammer, but he's gonna get stunned up. Turns it around. There we go, one more shot from OD comes in, and they're gonna turn that quickly into a three-man push. They might oh, be able to- Oh, Masquerade. Oh, he's gonna have to get out of here. Miss taking a lot of damage, but Trubs and Miss. Oh, Stony Brook feels oh like they're just God. falling apart. The glue has come undone. Everywhere, and the NCS getting that shackle shot cast basically on two heroes. Oh my god, just turning around. That was a support killing they two to, Yeah, they had to buy back Masquerade. They buy back on the Rubik as well. MZS obligatory <laughs> five death on the retreat, but they did force two buybacks, and Slurm is out of here. MZS is fine with that death. Oh my god, what a hero. Oh my god, I did not expect that. Like, he got so much money out of that kill, too. Oh, that is a power which is not good. That's why this hero is so good right now. I mean, that's a that's a classic thing, though. You, if it's a you and one other thing, you need to be very, very careful. No. And it was two heroes, and he landed <laughs> yeah. the double Maldic? Double Maldic? <laughs> oh, God. So good. Alright, you, uh, Stony Brick is gonna respond by immediately trying to take the rush, but Inferno's here with the BKB! They get a Brutal Strike through on the three! Doing so much damage already, Dark Rider trying to make his way away, Dark Rider has his BKB popped up, Trubs is the first to fall, Inferno's gonna finish off the Roshan and take himself the Aegis, now they could be ready to turn it around, trying to go for here, and Inferno could be in some trouble, he can respawn full HP and mana, but he's gotta be really careful, Death Ward gets channeled up, it's going on the Illusions now, they're gonna be able to force uh, Area Deny, but MZS takes the damage, Inferno for O Strike. Now they're gonna be able to find Masquerade. Maybe no! Sven is just getting beat down. The rest of his team already claimed, already beat down. They've gotta Sven get out of here or play this way. very, very smart. This Inferno could be going out of here. He's got a cheese on him still. He's got no BKB for 30 seconds. Here he's oh. gonna try to turn around. No, no BKB! Oh. He eats. There we go, God Strike goes. Inferno ready to go and he's got Blink in a second. Oh, Rubik is gonna be able to get the Sandstorm stolen. Now, Homie oh, Missile coming in on a miss. Inferno, he blinks forward. He can get Masquerade! Oh. There it is! My god, I thought when Sven turned around and popped his BKB first, I thought that was going to be like a, a, a quadra kill there for Inferno. They're gonna but force another buyback from Ember, from Earth Spirit. Inferno's coming in, he gets the tier 3! Immediate response from UMD, very nice here. They know that Masquerade's down, and they might be able to force the buyback on the Gyrocopter. Oh, Inferno could be in some trouble. Yeah, he's gonna have to pop his BKB, but now they've got Slurm in here! There we go! Buyback is popped on Gyrocopter as well! Rubik is just invisible right now! Burst oh, right no. on the Gyrocopter! Gyrocopter could be taking the damage! No! It's gonna be Stony Brook turning around on UMD! Inferno's so low! They roll forward on him and take him out! But that's a buyback though, that's a buyback of the Gyrocopter. Sven still has it. I believe a um, bunch of UMD heroes also bought back for that uh, Roche fight. How many buybacks are on cooldown? 1, 2, all, 3, all 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 buybacks on cooldown currently. Trubs is gonna get hit by the homing missile, and now he drops his, uh... Very good job, he drops his Necronomicon, trying to soak up some of the damage from that rocket barrage, but of course he is getting chased down by some very pissed off Stony Brook players. Yeah, they got 300 extra gold over the Gyrocopter as well. Wow, this game is incredibly back and forth. Uh, just less than 1k net worth lead right now for UMD, so basically no no lead right now, but the objectives, however, tier 3 being taken down. Uh, the melee racks is going to heal up, but the significant damage also done to range racks, and now the uh, shrines are open for taking as well, which means that UMD might be able to take the next Roshan with a huge advantage once they've taken down 
that shrine next to the Roshan. UMD would love to have a Nature's Prophet right now. I'm sure they don't want to commit a lot of people or risk a team fight just for a shrine, so they're going to have to take it off of another fight. But yeah, these the fights, like, everything just started getting messier and messier and messier until that final fight there on the uh, in the mid-high ground. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, that moment when Sven turned around with that, uh, when there was the, like, I think a two-man Boros Strike from Sand King and four people were stacked up on top of each other, and Sven had to storm a uh, hammer ready, but I think he got stunned by a homing rocket that just came in at that time, and if it wasn't then, Sven would have got a ultra kill there and completely destroyed. Yeah, I know d during that, somewhere around that point, I think, as well, he got hit by a stolen storm hammer. Right. Nasty stuff, nasty stuff that Rubik. Yeah, you gotta be so careful against All right. against Now this is this is it. UMD, if they can get another good fight here, there's no buybacks available on UMD. They're gonna be the aggressors. They gotta be careful though too, because they have a, a number of buybacks down as well, right? Three, I think. Yep, I think uh three. I I saw I think seven in total in the entire game was down. Uh, currently, only one with buyback is OD, by the way. He has oh, here we oh. go. Inferno's gonna go in aggressively. Hasn't popped his BKB yet. He will get hit by a, uh, by a, uh, stone. Now, the damage coming oh, out no, of the dark kill is just way deep while Inferno goes on to Dark Raider. Dark Raider took a lot of damage from the, oh, one more blink forward and a, just a single slap. Backhand to the face. PL, no buyback. Gyrocopter, no buyback. This is looking this grim is for Stony Brook. Yeah. They don't Inferno have the creeps here. Just bought the nullifier, and when Gyrocopter entered the fight, Inferno turned around and nullified Gyrocopter and stunned him, and ZS followed up with a Maladic. That's why he took so much damage all of a sudden. And here we go, Inferno going to work on the barracks. Are they going to go straight for the tier 4s and the Ancient? No, it looks like they're going to be safe and get a second lane of Rack. Yeah, Even with the Nature's sense. Prophet on your, on your team, it is going to be hard to push back two lanes of Super Creeps. Yeah, especially since MZS even was um, bottom to defend. Oh, but they lose their tier 3 on the bottom. Zing going to be able to take that tier 3 now. Zing is going to have to BKB TP. Very much worth it, though. Uh, I, I mean, at least uh, they got something out of it. Uh, so still, broke dead. still another 20 seconds till PL is gone. I think they could have ended this game. Oh, uh, I mean, they couldn't push bottom because tier 1. No, I mean, they could have just gone tier 4's Ancient. The uh, throne is a little bit risky. It's, you think Sven just doesn't have, have enough damage have. yet? Yeah, I mean, um, th there was no more mana left on Sven. Yeah, so God Strength God was going to run out. Up, yeah, and then Gyrocopter is coming back with BKB if he does, and then you don't want to take a huge fight there, especially with the bottom gang pushed in, then, you know... That's true, that's that's, that's the point you might, you might just trade, which is... Yeah. Uh, yeah, very good point. UMD, they've, they've taken a number of bad trades, especially on material objectives, so the possibility... Well, I think it is very arguable, though, as you said. I think they had a chance but, uh, in, in top eight playoffs. This is safe. This is very safe. Yeah. A lot of people are more willing to play safe. And then, as I said, uh, they have a better late game comp, so they don't need to push the face and end it immediately. And they took... Uh, Tularax, which is which is a very very happy one. As you Before, said, you know, with the morale game though, that would be a pretty hard hit. <laughs> it Just losing be. a fight like that, and it's over. Yeah. Oh, they actually missed the fortification, so they don't actually get the fortification on the bottom tower. You know what? That sucks a little bit. Yeah, and this the life of a nation block is a lot harder once you're getting uh, super creeped. Yeah. Because Last then, two uh, gonna get taken down. Yeah, at because this. all of the all of the lanes is going pushing against the nature's profit naturally. So um, before, where he just needed a small shove to make the entire lane push, now he needs to actually be a lot more active. Man, Trubs even got an alpha wolf from his uh, from his nature's call. Yeah, whatever. nature's call. So call of the wild. lots of damage going out into this tier three. Well, look at that! Almost a quarter HP damage done to it, with not even a hero there. Now some. The siege creep's gonna make sure they get even more. Yeah. That is painful. And there's not a lot that Stony Brick could have done about that. So they're just constantly going to siege with uh, Beastmaster Zoo. No, no, actually screw it. Here's up on the high ground. 
Here it goes. It's going to be the fight. Stony Brook has got to win this. Got to keep that UMD off of their high ground. And Firdo pops the God Strength. He's got his BKB available as well if he just wants to go for the, the material objectives here. Oh, Melee Rack's nice. getting beat down. They've got a lift onto him. Now here comes the call down. And Firdo's going to pop the, pop the BKB. He's ready to fight. Goes aggressively onto the Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter gets taken down. No buyback. Turn around. They see the Rubik as well as a target. God Strength still up for Firdo. He's got a little bit left. He's going to go for the objectives. Hero going to do what he can. They get him up in a Yule's miss, taking a lot of damage. Sven stunned once again, but here's the damage lifted. Sven's gonna get these he Mega Chris. Nothing is gonna stop him. He gets it, and the TP, TP is coming. Oh, they are able to cancel it, and they get the kill on the Sven. Miss is hanging around as well. So much. But they will get the kill. They will get the uh, as UMD gets the Mega Creeps. And now Stony Brook, what can they do? They they can't go for an immediate counter push here. There. That sort of Hail Mary pass, they've got so many heroes down. Yeah, Miss uh, stuck around and killed the HS Prophet, and then Slurm also killed the uh, Phalanster while that was happening. Ooh, Slurm with the trash talk here. That was, that's all chat. Oh. By the way. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, like, there's they're, they're no way they can push, you know? Like, Earth Spirit Rubik, what they, what do, what do these guys got against, um, uh, um, Omega Creeps, right? They got nothing. So, yeah, they're going to have to wait for their teammates to come back. And Gyrocopter is one of the heroes that can deal with um, Mega Creeps, but he is quite behind right now. Look at Gyro's quick buy, by the way. Divine. Divine, 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 divine. divine. Four divines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going to win this game, it's definitely through Divine for Copter. But, Unfortunately, uh, he... monetarily, he's a little off from that. Yeah, he has only a 700 gold. He is so far away from that. So this is going to be a very, very hard climb here for Stony and Brook. Um, I think this is like the time, basically like strategy time here. Look at the uh, net worth kind of... too. It's only 9k. That's nothing. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's nothing, but it's not insurmountable. But yeah. uh, it's definitely the Mega Creeps that's going to be very hard because Roshan's going to come up and they're going to be not going to be able to defend uh, or contest the Roshan and defend their base at the same time. And that's going to be at the point where it's fights going to get really, really hard. Looks like I pulled down the net worth when I was switching between buyback. Um, so I got that up for you guys. As you can see, only 4K, 4K, well, only a 4K. It's a 4K lead, Sven over Gyro. Um, for getting Mega Creeps, you know, again, not insurmountable. Not an insignificant amount, but not insurmountable. After that, it's all, um, it's all Stony Brook heroes. Yeah, Roshan is up. Unfortunately, Masquerade is pretty low on that list. That's kind of that's really their ticket, right? That's their their guy that hopes to hold them in the later game. Yeah. Although Gyro Gyro can do it as well. So this Roshan is the third one, so it is going to refresh a shard. They could give it to uh, double Sven. Oh, or, or it doesn't double. cost mana, right? Uh, Sven won't have the mana for it though, even if the shard doesn't cast mana. Cost mana. Yeah. I think I think Fresh Shard definitely was on someone else. There's so many good heroes for OD can take it as well, Trubs can take it. They leave the cheese in the pit, no Mystic will take that. So that's going to refresh Shard and Beastmaster, yeah. Double roar and Double, those uh... two BKBs. They have three BKBs actually on Stony Brook, and that's basically useless against that uh, double roar. Double Call of the Wild, too. It still behaves in the old way where if you use it twice before the cooldown, you get more creeps, right? Yeah. You just never see it as a long cooldown. Yeah. Unfortunately, it does not work with Necro and Omicron. Necro will probably replace itself. Miss getting beat up a little bit. Throw strike forward. He's going to find Earth Spirit. Nature's Prophet gets taken down as well from Inferno. They get a Yule's out onto Hero on Hero, trying to make his way away. They've got the Maladic. Oh, the Death Ward goes out. It only hits a couple times. Hero looks like he's going to be just fine. We do have a Roar out. Where on Earth? They're fighting down on the bottom. Going to be able to find the PL as well. Zing is going to have to buy back. PL still no buyback. It's not gonna be, it's gonna be down because of money. He has no way of getting it. They get a roar out on a gyrocopter. They get the pearl strike forward. That's gonna be it. Stony Brook called the GG. Wow. And UMD.